Hello everyone, welcome to Masa Military. The US Navy recently revealed plans to equip the F-35C Lightning II carrier-based fighter with four new strike weapons, enhancing its ground and sea strike capabilities and bringing it to a level comparable to the Super Hornet. The four weapons include the AGM-158 Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile, JASM, for off-zone ground targets, the AGM-158C Anti-Ship Missile, a naval variant of the AGM-158, the AGM-179 Joint Air-to-Ground Missile, JAGM, for stand-in targets, and the AGM-114 Hellfire Short-Range Air-to-Ground Missile. The initial batch of air-to-ground munitions for the F-35C includes JDAM series GPS-guided bombs and Paveway series laser-guided bombs. Subsequent software upgrades will allow the integration of GBU-39 small diameter bombs (SDB) and AGM-154 joint standoff weapons or JSO. In the future, the US Navy plans to integrate more weapons and ammunition for the F-35C, including the AGM-88G advanced anti-radiation guided missile extended range stand-in attack weapon, the GBU-53B Stormbreaker glide bomb and B-6112 nuclear bomb. The Storm Shadow missile, and a key component of UK aid to Ukraine, has earned recognition as one of the world's earliest stealth cruise missiles with a range of 155 to 340 miles. The AGM-158 JASM is one of the most advanced cruise missiles, featuring precise targeting and stealth capabilities, capable of striking both fixed and moving targets with significant destructive power, surpassing the capabilities of the Storm Shadow. Developed by Lockheed Martin, the JASM has been in service since 2003, with a length of 14 feet, a width of 22 inches, a wingspan of 8.9 feet, and a weight of 2,251 pounds. It uses a turbofan engine and supports various types of warheads, including explosive and penetrator types. The missile employs a composite guidance system with inertial and GPS guidance in the mid-course and infrared imaging guidance at the terminal phase. Equipped with a data link, the JASM can autonomously identify and strike enemy targets based on information from friendly forces on the battlefield, showcasing a certain level of intelligence. The missile is equipped with anti-jamming modules, allowing it to operate in GPS interference environments, and it extensively incorporates stealth technology, providing day and night all-weather combat capabilities. The JASM's design, which includes embedded air intake and embedded composite materials, help to reduce its radar cross-section, with a frontal radar cross-section of only about 0.1 square meters. In April 2018, the US military employed the AGM-158A during a B-1B bomber airstrike in Syria, marking its first use in actual combat after 15 years of service. The JASM has evolved into a versatile family, including the basic AGM-158A model, the extended range of AGM-158B model with a range of 575 miles, the anti-ship AGM-158C model, and the longer range AGM-158B2, also known as the AGM-158D, with a range of up to 1,200 miles, fully capable of replacing the Tomahawk cruise missile. Initially air-launched, the AGM-158 was later integrated into the MK-41 vertical launch system after the development of the anti-ship variant, serving as a primary strike missile for the US Navy in the future. Lockheed Martin has also completed the development of a submarine launch version of the AGM-158. The AGM-158C, also known as the LRASM, is an anti-ship variant developed and based on the AGM-158B, and it entered service in 2018. The U.S. Navy has selected the long-range variant AGM-158C-3, or LRASM-ER, for the F-35C, providing both anti-ship and ground attack capabilities. Currently, the anti-ship missile equipped on the F-35C is the Joint Strike Missile, JSM, developed by Norway. 
The JSM is smaller and can fit into the F-35C's weapon bay, serving as a versatile air-to-ground attack missile with a range of up to 300 kilometers. Compared to the JSM, the AGM-158C has greater combat capabilities, a heavier payload, and a longer range. Unlike typical anti-ship missiles, the AGM-158C features stealth capabilities, infrared imaging guidance at the terminal phase, and functions such as automatic target search, attack level determination, radar evasion, and target lock-on. It possesses intelligent discrimination capabilities not found in other missiles, able to ignore false targets and select the true enemy target for destruction. Due to the large size of the AGM-158 series missiles, they cannot fit into the F-35C's weapon bay and must be mounted on wing pylons, which may compromise their stealth capabilities. Nevertheless, these weapons provide the F-35 with valuable off-zone attack capabilities. In addition to large-scale off-zone ground and sea strike weapons, the Navy has equipped the F-35C with new in-zone ground attack weapons, including the recently deployed AGM-179 Joint Air-to-Ground Missile Jagum, and the proven Hellfire Missile. The AGM-179 Jagum is designed to engage closer targets, with the air-launched base model capable of attacking targets at a range of approximately 8 kilometers, and the improved variant that can attack at double the range. Equipped with a three-model guidance head and fire-and-forget capability, the AGM-179 allows the launch platform to stop tracking the target after launch, providing higher survivability. Additionally, it can attack armored vehicles and small boats, smaller moving targets, in any weather conditions, offering both ground and anti-sea attack capabilities. The Jagum is expected to replace the air-launched AGM-114 Hellfire anti-tank missile. BGM-71 tow anti-tank missile and the older AGM-65 Maverick air-to-ground missile. The joint air-to-ground missile can use the Hellfire missile's launch system and logistical support system with a similar appearance to the Hellfire missile. The missile has a cylindrical shape eliminating the front wings and featuring elongated small wings and extended cross-shaped tail fins for stability during flight and ease of aircraft mounting. The Jagum has a launch weight of 49 kilograms, a length of 1.8 meters, and a diameter of 0.18 meters. Due to its small size, the Jagum can be accommodated in the F-35C's weapons bay using a four-rack pylon similar to the GBU-39 small diameter bomb, increasing the payload. Additionally, it can be mounted on traditional underwing rail launchers. The F-35C will also have the capability to launch Hellfire missiles, making it the first F-35 variant to use Hellfire missiles. Hellfire missiles were previously not installed on high-speed fighter aircraft and were mainly used on helicopters, large drones, and the A-10 attack aircraft. Okay, that's all for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and support Masa Military. See you next time!